Located in Eastern Africa, Uganda is one of the countries that partners with the Belgian government in order to foster sustainable development. Following a number of educational reforms, there has been an increase in access to education for all over the years. This, however, has led to the growing concern over the declining quality of education in the country. In order to improve the education sector, there is a need for teachers capable of delivering high-quality education. Through the Teacher Training Education Project, ENABEL, the Belgian Development Agency and the Government of Uganda are striving to strengthen professional competences of secondary school teacher trainers and teachers graduating from National Teachers Colleges of Kabale, Kaliro, Mubende, Muni and Unyama. The project has introduced the use of ICT and among this is the use of video in the teaching and learning process. Offline educational resources are resources that we can access online, then we download, edit a bit, and then we begin using them for our teaching and learning practices. My students are more motivated and more focused, and they also take uh, they have also increased on their attention span because you can see someone very eager and it is able to catch his interest. Uh, then also online and offline resources, they facilitate longer term memory. I can remember what has been taught in class, most especially when we are studying Greece, those videos, pictures, so it helped me to remember. Actually, it has helped me in research. For example, uh, I can now access the internet because this is a modern world and it has actually equipped us with the skills of harnessing internet and getting new information. Using video uh, captures uh, learners' attention and it makes it very easy for me to illustrate and do my demonstration. They will get the concept very fast. It has also helped me to uh, get resources from different sources that I can integrate in my teaching, therefore making my teaching more enriched. The Teacher Training Education Project has also introduced the use of videos to support the micro-teaching process. Micro-teaching is a process of recording a, a video of a lesson and then that lesson might be purposively uh, selected so that you, you particularly critique the strength of the presentation and maybe identify the areas for improvement and together with your class you pave way for improvement. The use of video has made it easy for me. When I want the students to practice a, a, a specific skill, I get a clip, a video of how that skill should be done. I play it, they watch it, then they practice it. I get the best practices of a particular skill, I showcase them, and they get to see them, and they understand. And the good thing with the video is that I can replay it for as many times as the students need to master the skill. Micro-teaching is beneficial to me in that it, helped, it has helped me to build my confidence. Because now I'm able to stand in, in front of me very many people or in a big class or in a crowd of people, anyway, I'm able to, to stand in front of them and I'm able to talk to them. Most of us who came here when you don't, we can't even stand, well, we can't vary the methods of teaching, but through micro-teaching, we've been able to learn different techniques and how to apply them. Because we are given a chance, even with student teachers, to apply them and even our teachers help us. In the order to use video in the micro-teaching, one should be having the skills of video coverage, editing, and also knowledge on how it's supposed to be operated. A good video to use in micro-teaching must have good information that you want to pass across to the students, and then it should also have the bad practice that you want the students not to use. The teacher training project has strengthened the professional competences of over 263 teaching staff, 
contributed to creating competent secondary school teachers by positively impacting the teaching and learning process of over 4,445 student teachers, improved the information and communication technologies capacities of national teachers' colleges through training and provision of ICT equipment. Nowadays, the use of video in teaching is, is, is a must now. You cannot avoid it if you want to make your lesson rich.